Minister James Marpe has appealed to his people of Taripori to use the power of forgiveness to heal their differences and start new lives during this Christmas. He was speaking to hundreds of people at the Andaja Oval in Tari, Hala Province, on Christmas Day. Mr Marpe was accompanied by the Minister for Labour and Employment, Omar Kapili, and Transport Minister, William Sam. Astra Balinwani reports. Prime Minister Marape appealed to his people to settle the differences with their brothers, families, clansmen and tribe groups and forgive one another during this festive season. He also appealed to his people to go into farming and engage in small activities to support their families as the national government will support the SME sector. A 2 million kina was allocated to SMEs in the Taripori district from the government and the provincial government. Next year, Mila, give you blogger the Yampla, please. One, one, Kona, you stand from Hela. You banish him, Lord, not up to you. And you less of school, no one worry. You focus on making really business of less money from Tari district. They put him. One million, one point five million quanta. Governor, I'm talking about the Nabla, five hundred thousand quanta. I'm gonna tell you for you, but let's carry people along. Group people stop the one on house line or control group people. Other leaders echoed similar sentiments, calling on the people of Tari to seek peace and live in harmony. Esther Brelinwani, NBC National News, Port Mosby. Prime Minister James Marpe has appealed to students who dropped out of grades 8, 10 and 12 to further their education through the Second Chance Education System. The Second Chance Education Opportunity will be provided through the flexible open and distance education. Mr Marpe's appeal comes after one-third of grade 12 students this year were not able to make it into tertiary institutions, further increasing the number of dropouts every year. Stella Martin reports. Prime Minister James Marape described the second change education as a hope to those who did not make it into grades 9, 11 and tertiary institutions due to limited number of spaces provided. The second change education system will be provided through the flexible open distance education which will be fully rolled out in 2021. Next year, you young boy, girl, you stop nothing and you finish in school, but governor and a member of you Work partnership with the education department, now second chance education, Bible run him, so that you can make him grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. You upgrade him, Max, you know, plus you stop your school yet, or you boys, you mean, girls, you stop, me like you seem second chance education. Me like you seem second chance education. No can stop, no crack, crack, unless second chance education, Bible rolling free right throughout our country. Last the beginning, he finished him grade 8, now he's not going to grade 9 because no got space for grade 9. Last he finished him grade 10, now he's not going to grade 11 because no got space for grade 11. You know, you know what, Sawe know what. Prime Minister Marape says all high schools in the country will be providing school materials for those wanting to study through food. He says those who continue their education into food will also be able to apply to tertiary institutions. Marape further appeals to those that are out of school not to be discouraged and engaged in illegal activities, but to continue into second change education. So all get up, Yambla, Pikini, Blomi, you finish school, last 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, whatever it is, or this year, no longer space for grade 9, or no longer space for grade 11, no get discouraged, no get holy marijuana, no get go holy rascal pass in. No can hold him boy in a smoke na beer, send up good na go back to second chance education. Am right or no can hold him a boy stop? So was your hand must rule or you like kissing back country blue you. The contribution you can do to your country today is remain a good citizen and do it, go back to school again through flexible, open, distant education. Stella Martin, NBC National News, Port Mosby.